This series' purpose is to build decks and be a guideline for players who are interested in it. All of this information can be changed, discarded or adjusted to be more usable in the future due to new game contents, cards and updates. Harry Potter's Echoes is a very common and simple ability of how he can improve three or less mana spells to be more powerful. With how he uses less mana, these Echoes were really popular. Let's find out what decks he's capable of. First deck suggestion, Low Cost Avada. Harry Potter's main purpose is to attack the opponent's character directly. So, Avada Kedavra is one of the fitting choices. You can try using another companion, like Ron Weasley if you have one. In battle, try using Expulso if your opponent's units are just weaklings, and keep up the Avada Kedavra stack. If there is no target, you can use it on the player right away to not let it go to waste. While you can use side-along apparition spells to dodge massive hit spells like Weasley Whiz Bang, with this spell, you will also have more movement. By the way, this deck will have trouble with Hermione's opponent's echoes since there is no Nebulus or Protego Totalum to protect you from thunderstorms. And there is no stack-up target for the Avada spell either. Second deck, typical meta. Maybe this deck is so simple that you find some players playing it nowadays because it is meta. There are all low-cost spells mainly for spamming and summoning three-headed puppies, while you can recover yourself all the time. You can pick Cassandra if there are too many summoner players. Using Broomstick to dodge and studify to push units away. This deck is most likely to play in 1v1 mode, so you can change companions at your will. You may need to hit studify spells to interrupt opponent action because you have no other crowd control spell than this. Third deck, Eppling Snow. You will be a sharpshooter, shooting the opponents with a single hit spell like Expelliarmus or using Bewitched Snowballs for massive area of effect damage. This deck requires mastery of the accuracy skill because a miss can mean your death. When faced with a lot of units from summoner decks like Newt, you need to be calm and make it a priority to take down the thing that is most damaging to you, like Bombastic Bombbox. 
Sometimes you need to fall back, recover, dodge the most damage from your opponent, and wait for the opportunity to strike back. Here are some units on the combination deck, Blasted Phoenix. This is a combination of spell and summoning that you keep getting heal from Phoenix. But take note that this is a delaying tactic deck because its damage is low. You need to summon three-headed puppy or blasted end scroot to be your army. This is an out-meta deck and few people are playing it because it is hard to calculate mana to clear opponent's units. Lastly, for Harry Potter suggestions, the Ashwinder deck. Ashwinder is the unit that can tank and also attack since every time you use cards, it separates itself and attacks the target. By using heal in various situations, you can balance your health and attack. At least if you face a thunderstorm, there will still be more damaged targets than yourself because Ashwinder has some health points and doesn't need too much mana to summon. Finally, all of this suggestion deck can be adjusted at your will, since the meta for every season is not fixed. You should also adjust the deck so that it mostly fits your style. I hope this video was helpful and inspired you. If you think so, please like, subscribe and share to Move Tovation for the next video. Thanks for watching.